Hey, what up everybody? Peace Eye here. Uh, I know I haven't seen you guys in a while, but I wanted to uh, let you know that I am alive and I will be reviewing something today. Today it's going to be Philadelphia multi-grain bagel chips and cream cheese dip. I got this free from Jewel and I'm going to try it for you guys because it's new. Um, Alright, so in it, the dip is just pasteurized milk and cream, water, salt, dried chives, dried onions, guar gum, carabine gum, scorbic acid, which is uh, used as a preservative in this one, natural flavor, vitamin A, and cheese culture. For the bagel chips, it's wheat flour, soybean oil, flaxseed, degerminated de yellow cornmeal, wheat bran, whole grain rolled oats, millet, I have no idea what millet is, um, instant yeast, salt, sugar, water, sea salt, barley, malt flour, guar gum, oat fiber, rosemary extract as an antioxidant, and ascorbic acid. Cool, so uh, in one container you're going to get your 200 calories, uh, 12 grams of fat, 450 milligrams of sodium. That's actually 19% of your daily value, so this is uh, decently high in sodium actually. Uh, total carbs, 17 grams, two of which are fiber, two of which are sugar, and then protein, 6 grams. Uh, we do have some vitamin A, some vitamin C, some calcium, and some iron in here. So that's really cool. Let's open it up, see how it smells, see how it tastes, see how it looks. They definitely secure this bad boy. Don't want anything falling out. All right, so we've got uh, two little compartments here. Uh, you got your cream cheese thingy and then your little bagel things. Uh, they don't really smell like anything. Pretty plain, pretty standard. Um, so let's dip it into this cream cheese. Okay, it's very fluffy, soft cream cheese. You can see the little uh, uh, flecks of stuff in it, I guess. Kind of. Great, that was totally supposed to happen. Anyway, let's try it. Woo! Nice crunchiness, nice flavor. Wow. You know what? This is a really nice portion size. I, I do like the way that it tastes, the way it crunches in your mouth, and the way the cream cheese is. Uh, they did have a bunch of other flavors. I'm sure they're good as well. But uh, this is pretty good. I mean, it kind of tastes like a bagel and cream cheese. And uh, if, if that's what your cup of tea is, and you don't want to go get it fresh, you could probably go get this. Uh, let me try another one for you guys. Mmm. That time, the uh, bagel thing hit my tongue first, and I got this nice rush of saltiness. It's a great flavor. Um, I, I, I actually would recommend this. So, let's give a rating for this. I haven't done this in a while. Hmm. I can't remember how much they costed. Because I got it for free. <laughs> but I'd probably be willing to pay a, at least a dollar twenty-five for something like this. I can't imagine it'd be too much higher than that. So, based on all those factors, I'd have to give this, like, a 9 out of 10. I mean, um, what's keeping this from having a perfect 10 out of 10? I don't know, it just feels not fresh, you know, it's just a container of things. Something like this can't get the perfect 10 out of 10, right? I mean, they're, they are using strange uh, preservatives that I don't really know exactly what they are. Um, I'd have to look up what ascorbic acid is. But I'm pretty familiar with all the rest of this stuff. But I mean, uh, flavor-wise, um, accessibility, like, it's amazing. Like, you can take this anywhere. It does need to be refrigerated, obviously. But, I mean, I'm going to have to give this a 9 out of 10. So, let me know if you want to try something like this. And if you do, then go buy it. Alright? Goodbye.